With a super wet winter, we're experiencing one landslide after another. This is what they look like in person, and this is what they look like on LIDAR. And the state of Washington has a huge inventory. These areas have the tendency they can reactivate, especially in prolonged precipitation events. Kate Mickelson is a landslide hazards geologist for the Washington Geological Survey. And for Washington State, the 2014 Oso landslide changed everything. It killed 43 people and remains the deadliest slide in U.S. history. Washington State is one of the most landslide prone states in the country. And since 2016, the state has spent $7 million to use specially equipped airplanes, which use lasers to create these kinds of images of the land. Once that data is processed, trees and buildings are stripped away, exposing details of the earth, including where all those slides are, recent or ancient. So this is our draft landslide inventory work for Whatcom County. This is our project that's going to be released towards the end of this month. Casey Hanell is the state geologist. In the wake of OSO, the survey, part of the Department of Natural Resources, has hired five geologists to analyze it all. And as each county is analyzed, you can even get online to see where all the hazards are by you and eventually the susceptibility for individual slopes to let loose. So you know how likely it is the slope next to your home, next to the roads you drive, might be to shallow landsliding occurring there. This is along Highway 410, the road blocked by that big slide that cut off the town of Greenwater and Crystal Mountain. This is the valley fully mapped with LIDAR. We have the slide around this area right here. But as big as that slide looked, it's pretty small next to the evidence left by others. But even as we deal with the slides we already have, our terrain is saturated and it won't take much to bring down more dirt. In Tacoma, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.